there's this weird misconception that Title IX or whatever women's rights thing that gave the, the women the equal rights was all about equality. It was never about equality. Women aren't equal to men. They are different. Hence, they need different things. Equality, in this case, would that women be allowed to play in every male sport. So the NFL would have to let women play in the NFL. Um, it's for the swimmers, they would have to let women compete in with men in the swimming championships and whatever you want, right? You have to have equal access to different things. That would be equality. But that's not what it was. What it was, was that they have equal rights. Very different. It's not equality and it's definitely not equal. It's different in Jewish in Jewish um, in Jewish law. We have this expression. It's called Jew, separate but equal. So women have women are separated to an extent from men, but they have equal rights. If it makes any sense, that's what that's what uh, Title IX was supposed to be. You have separate sports for women, and that makes it equal. You have separate places for them and that makes it equal. If you want to differentiate on the basis of race, right, that is inherently racist because it makes no sense. There is no difference. You could have a strong black man and you can have a weak white woman and there is no connection there. But to say that, well, um, no, all races are have to be equal in everything, so maybe they should compete in a, in a WW, whatever it's called, a match. They should they should fight each other. Sorry, that type of sport is really stupid. Wrestling is stupid, okay? Back to what I was saying, I get on tens a lot. Um, so obviously that is, 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 that is that, right? So what if they were both the same color? So you have a black woman who's very weak and you have a really strong, big man. And you say, well, well, you're, you're, you're both black. So you gotta play together, or you're both right. You gotta play together. See, that makes no sense. Obviously, that's different. But equal but separate is what, what, what the point was created. Just one second. <clears throat> so if you have a man who wants to play in women's sports, his whole theory is that, well, this whole law was created for equality and equality for everyone. And if there's equality for everyone, I should be included in this. And just like, well, equality would mean that the women get to play in men's sports, they don't because they're really weak, but they, they should be allowed to if they really wanted to. Well then, I should, equality also says that I should be allowed to play in women's sports, which is absolutely idiotic because that's not what it was created for. Remember, it was created to be separate but equal. If it wasn't separate, it's inherently unequal. Just like a woman wouldn't do a good job in the NFL because men are inherently stronger. So in order to make equality on the field, the only way to do this in the NFL would to be make a separate women's league of the NFL. That's what we did with basketball. That's what we did with many other sports because men are inherently stronger. It is not to say women are less than it's just an inherent biological fact that you really can't walk away from besides for changing your body, giving yourself lots and lots and lots of drugs. Those drugs happen to be made in Israel. Just a random fact that apparently no one knows. Uh, they're the ones that invented this. Who knew? Oh, thank you, Fridge. So that's, it's separate but equal. If you you have all these different things, a man wants to say, well, I, I now I'm a woman, I identify as a woman, so I get to play in women's sports. And at face value, that kind of makes sense, right? Well, you're saying it's a women's sport. Well, I'm a woman, right? So, for example, let's say you have a, well, it's not even fair comparison, but if you have a, a comedy routine for a woman, and you say, well, I'm a man, but uh, I identify as a woman now, so now I'm a woman, so now I get to be in the, well, apparently women aren't funny. I'm not saying that. That's the world. The world says women aren't funny. Don't, don't argue with me, okay? That's... So if a man comes to the women's comedy club, obviously he's going to win because men are funnier. Just saying. Just like when driving. <laughs> now that we've got all the sexism out of the way. So it's it's just in her, it's supposed to be separate. It's not about who you are, right? This goes back to what I talked about in a different video about the idol worshipping of yourself. This is not a left or right issue. This is just a human issue. You should care because everyone deserves equal rights. And equal rights is never ever means equality. It means separate but equal. Is that a spider? Hope not. 
And it's this weird thing in the world currently where they think that it's not true. Just because it doesn't happen doesn't mean that it's it can't happen, right? So if if a woman, well, they say, well, we've never had a woman president, but we could. So is that is that not fair, right? Could, so we have never had a transgender president. Is that not fair? There are certain things, of re there are certain reasons why women never became president. Well, for one, they never were the most qualified people, and to become president, you have to be the most qualified person. So if you have, let's say, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley goes and says that, that, that a 12-year-old can, uh, a parents can help their 12-year-old child tra transition to whichever way they want to go. She's not qualified to become president, not because her views are wrong in any way. I personally disagree with them, but I'm not saying that they're wrong. I'm saying that America doesn't agree with it. So she's inherently unqualified to be president because her views do not align with a majority, a plurality of America. And that's what you need to win. And every time there has been an issue in the world, a problem with women, and it's not a problem with women, it's a problem of why they can't get elected, is because they are very emotional people and they just care more about issues. I know from experience the people around me who are of the XX chromosomes, I'm pretty sure it's XX, yeah, yeah, 10, 10, XX chromosomes, um, they are, do, do, they do get emotional over specific things that I'm like, why are we emotional here? I don't understand it. So in every single issue that has ever come up in recent politics, the women have always just sided with it because they are emotional. It makes no sense for Nikki Haley to side with this. It's a completely illogical. The entire right is against it, and even independents really hate it, and even a lot of people on the left do not like this issue. There's no way to win if you are for this issue. Joe Biden is winning because of separate reasons, because he's targeting the anti-Trump base, which is that way, so he gets it, but he's the only one that can get it with the full support of the Democratic Party. Anyone else cannot get it. So Nikki Haley is 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 not going to become president because she's inherently unqualified, but doesn't mean that she can't become president. So with that same logic, with a little twist at the end, a man who identifies as a woman and now says, I'm a woman, cannot become a sports player in the women's, in the women's league because that person is inherently unqualified to be in women's sports. I'll give you a quick example, and I think you'll agree with me, though this has never actually been played out. Let's say you have a woman who is the strongest one in the world. She is ripped. She is. She can defeat all men. There's no one in the world who can defeat her. And every time she plays in the women's league, she kills one, okay? Every single time she plays, she, she whatever, she's soccer, every time she kicks the ball, she knocks off another girl's head. You would agree that in that case, she is inherently unqualified to play in the women's league. You wouldn't argue with me, well, it's her right to play in the women's league, so therefore we have to accommodate her and let her go and kick those soccer balls and knock off all these other girls' head. You would say, well, let's look at the case. The case is that she's inherently unqualified because she is just too strong. We don't have that because genetically, even if a woman works really hard, she won't be that strong because of how her genetics are built. But in a theoretical case, you would agree, we got to kick her out. Maybe we'll even send her to the men if she qualifies. There should be, there might be a test. Again, this is all a theoretical case, but there will be tests to make sure that a man won't just do the same thing to her head, right? If a man kicks a ball into her head, hopefully he won't knock it off. Again, these are all semantics of exactly the case, right? So, so, in that scenario, you would agree that we'd kick her out, not of her own fault. There's nothing nothing wrong with her. She didn't do anything wrong. She is just too strong to be in the women's sports. It's a danger. That's the same thing. We have nothing wrong with people that identify as women. It's fine. You can do whatever you want. It's America. This is history. America has always been about what you identify as. Obviously, we can disagree on the specifics, but that's what America always was. But then when it comes to specific things like a danger, 
then that is just an obvious choice. And then we can get into semantics when you're talking about swimming, where it's not a dangerous thing, but just, well, no women can, can win. So that's a little bit more complicated. But I don't think we can pick and choose and say, well, soccer, no. Football, no. What else? You know, well, well maybe tennis? Well, 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 let's see. Well, a man can beat a woman every single time. So that's a little bit more 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 to the middle because I think you can't differentiate between two cases but maybe you can argue with me and so I'm just gonna do a conclusion for a second and reiterate what I'm saying what am I saying right okay so basically my big my big new concept is if we have a biological woman who is so strong that she kills another player every time she plays in the women's league, we would 1000% kick her out. So therefore, we can't let a man who is that strong person um, be in the women's league because um, she, 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 he would kill a player every time they play and stories are coming out that this is happening more and more and more as more and more men are joining the leagues and who identifies women. And that's my theory. Uh, if you argue with me, cool, okay. Um, if you like what I say, like the video. So I know that you actually listened and liked it because I liked some feedback. Um, if you hated the video, like the video to be contrarian and leave a comment below about how much you hated it and how stupid I sounded. So uh, I guess most of the world would, would agree with you, which makes you kind of a loser. Uh, so see you next video.